Alright, I'm going to do a short little video here about my uh, aquaponic system. Got some other stuff going on up here, seedlings and stuff. Um, this is the main tank, it's a 55 gallon, and I don't have it filled up all the way. I got two koi and I think three goldfish in that one. And then I got another tank over here that I really haven't figured out what to do with yet. Just kind of a quarantine tank right now. <clears throat> and then these are the two. I think these are 47 liters uh, Rubbermaid tubs. I've painted them black on the outside so kind of prevent algae growth. Uh, we got the bell siphons there. With the air hose to help break the siphon. And all I'm doing here is I'm just taking the pump. I forget what that pump is. It's uh, it ain't too big, but then I just got a half inch uh, pipe going all the way up, and it's got a it's got a ball valve on the top right here, so I can so I can regulate the flow. I've got it just about where I want it, where it works pretty good. And then I got a three quarter inch um, standpipe and a two inch bell, and this is just to uh, keep the hydrogen out of the out of the drain and let's see I just got done planting some stuff these are uh, tomato clones that I cut got some uh, flavor burst sweet peppers in here There's some Chinese cabbage uh, I got arugula rocket arugula and then these strawberries I got lettuce over here in this bed over here. And then I got uh, a plant of these strawberries. These are just the roots you buy at the garden centers or whatever. And they're still black. I just planted them like yesterday. So we'll see what those do. And that's the siphon kicking off. Now these are individually drained, so they drain on their own on their own schedule. I think I timed it the other day, yesterday. I think it was minute 45 to fill, minute 15 to drain. So it's a pretty fast cycle. I could set that up on a timer if I wanted to to save electricity, and it wouldn't hurt anything. But that pump doesn't use much electricity anyway, so might as well. And then I got this. I don't even know if you guys can see it. That's a pretty big. Uh, CFL compact fluorescent. Uh, I think it's 105 watts, maybe 150. I I, I forget. So, uh, but it but it does the job. I actually got these two shop lights that I'm gonna move down as soon as we get ready to plant these. I got uh, I don't know three or four different kinds of tomatoes growing. I actually separated those from from these pots. And grew them in my own little uh, homemade uh, just paper pots. These, this paper was, uh, they used that to, uh, when I moved, that was all the packing material. And I didn't want to throw it away, so I composted some of it and I used some of it for these, these paper pots. And I got newspaper over here for these guys and they work just fine. Uh, just as well as these do. And I, you know, I paid five bucks for these. So um, then I got Brandywine tomatoes, Early Girl sugar snack hybrid and a bunch of different peppers and uh, spices and shit like that so uh, anyway once I get done once those go out in the garden then I'll uh, I'll move these lights down here and I can plant more stuff in the front in the front part I haven't actually done that I actually need to get another 10 liter bag of hydrogen just to fill it in it's a little bit you can see the water comes up right there to the uh, almost to the top of it so I gotta get one more bag but yeah, that's a quick little uh, overview of the system. Any questions or comments, just leave them below. Thanks.